If you've spent any time on my channel, you realize that I'm a bit of an Ubuntu fan, and this is also not the first time that I've made a video about Ubuntu and joining to a Windows domain. So you may have seen this before where we talk about fixing the DNS lookup, um, in particular with Ubuntu configurations. I honestly haven't tested that many other Linux distributions, but if you haven't yet uh, come across this issue, a quick fix is to change the NS switch uh, conf. Now, as I could have changed this without doing a reboot, it was more like demonstrate that that's how I can do it one way. I can also just restart the network service, which in hindsight I probably should have done, but hey, let's move on to the next set of problems. You can see I can now ping the domain comfortably. So assuming that we can now see the domain, we can go ahead and install the packages. So here's a quick list of the four packages you'll need with Ubuntu 18.04 release. After the installation of the packages, we'll be prompted for the domain. Now don't make the mistake I did, which is to configure it in lowercase. Please use the uppercase. And once that's done, you simply need to provide the domain credentials or an account that has the ability to add computer objects to the domain. So in this case, I'm going to go with the admin and you can see that that runs through, does the configuration, prompts me for password, I enter the password, additional packages are required, and they're installed. And that's all it is to get you on the domain. Now, there is one additional step which, depending on what you're about to do next, may be useful, and that is to have the full qualified host configuration name. So if we just do a host name check here and do the dash all dash fqdn, um, we'll see that we're only getting the short name for the host. So we're just going to go in and modify the host's uh, file in order to get that full qualified domain. So I take the IP address of this machine, I take the fully qualified domain name, and then I save the file and exit. And if I do a look up again, you'll see that that now resolves comfortably. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do, and subscribe for more content.